Today, I want to tell you the story of a fungus. A fungus that doesn't just infect bees, but also sparks arguments among many beekeepers. This is the fungus that makes beekeepers fight. Imagine this. A beekeeper checks their hives and finds small white mummified larvae. The classic sign of chalk brood. Instantly, the questions begin. Did it come from those new queens that I bought? Is it the pollen that I just fed them? Who sold me this contaminated stuff? And just like that, tension starts building up in the beekeeping community. Fingers are pointed, reputations are questioned, and sometimes even friendships fall apart. But here is the truth. Chalk brood is not a dangerous disease. Even though it's something you might suspect come from buying queens, a pollen patty, or any other product another beekeeper sold you, what beekeepers need to realize is that the actual trigger of chalk brood disease is something else entirely. Hi, I'm Dr. Umberto Boncristiani and this is Inside the Hive.tv, the show that takes you into the world of bees. If you like bees and want to know more about them, please consider subscribing and hit the bell button so you don't miss a single video. Chalk brood is a fungal disease of honeybee larvae caused by Ascosfera apis, a fungus that produces long-lasting spores capable of surviving for years in the environment. This fungus is heterotallic, which means it has plus and minus mycelia, which is kind of a male and female in the animal world. These are similar to roots of the fungus when you're comparing them with plants. And these roots need to come together for sexual reproduction to occur. Interestingly, both males and female forms can cause disease independently, producing a well-known white mummified brood, those chalky larvae remains that give the disease its name. Here is something else to notice. Sometimes those mummies are not white, but black. This happens when male and female mycelia meet to begin sexual reproduction. Both plus male and minus female mycelia, when reproduced, form spores that we've spread around. But when you see a white mummy, it's actually asexual growth. And when you see a black mummy, it is sexual growth happening with exchanging of genetic information. Now the part that causes so much drama among beekeepers. When nurse bees fed the larvae contaminated food, young larvae might ingest some spores. But that alone isn't enough to trigger the disease. If the bees are healthy and the environmental conditions are stable, the fungus doesn't even replicate. Most of the time, beekeepers don't even know the fungus is present. Poor nutrition is one contributing factor described in the literature. But the main trigger for chalk brood replication is the same for many other fungus out there. Temperature stress. If, for any reason, the bees fail to maintain proper brood temperature, the spores will then germinate and begin infecting larvae, resulting in disease and the visible mummies that we all know about. So, if you are a beekeeper and you see chalk brood in your hive, don't start pointing fingers. Instead, ask yourself, why are my bees so weak? Why can't they maintain the right temperature inside the hive? Did I do something recently that could have caused this kind of stress? Did I split the colony too aggressively and leave too few bees to care for the brood? In the last months in the United States, beekeepers all around have faced extreme weather variations and it will be common to see chalk brood appearances everywhere. In today's world with so many problems in the beekeeping industry, I see the appearance of chalk brood as a lucky sign of unhealthy conditions in your apiary. A sign that tells the beekeeper that something is wrong and it is not too late to fix it. Very different from signs of virus infections, for example. Fixing those issues will go a long way towards helping your bees recover and your operation to thrive. Let's stop fighting each other over chalk brood, because the real enemy isn't your neighbor. It is poor hive conditions caused by poor nutrition, viruses, and pesticide stress. I've left some extra materials that include what people do to treat for chalk brood for my newsletter subscribers if you're interested. Link in the description.
Vita Bee Health has a selection of honeybee health products and if you experience some problems in your apiary, please check them out, they might have something for you. That being said, I want to thank Vita for sponsoring this video and you for watching. Inside the Hive.tv, the show about bees. See you guys in the next video.